more people get connected, the reality of heavy website traffic is really hitting home. Just take Denmark. 97% of its population is internet capable. In 2010, they launched a system aimed to solve the problem, and with South Africa fast approaching the 10 million connected mark, they decided to do the same here. We sent Tafuma to investigate. By now, most of you know that international acts Lady Gaga and Linkin Park will be touring South Africa later this year. When the news broke, people got excited. No, they went ballistic. And then they got frustrated. Because in order to get into the concert, you need the ticket. And those queues were just too damn long. Well, chin up, because where there's a will, there's a way. And of course, we have technology on our side to make things a little easier. Now you're probably thinking, yeah right dude, buying tickets online takes forever. Well, that's where Qit comes in. Qit is a virtual queue designed for websites to manage overloading of users during transactional peaks. Qit operates worldwide and has customers in three continents within a broad spectrum of industries including online retail, ticketing, public enterprises and public finance. So how is it going to make your life easier? Let's find out. Does the system actually prevent websites from crashing when there's huge traffic? That's exactly what it was designed for. Because as internet usage has grown in all over the world, and especially in South Africa at the moment, there's more volumes of people on the site at any one time. So now you have to manage that. And so this technology came about of, right, well, we've got too many people on too many sites at the same time. How are we going to manage that? And we put them in a, in a straightforward, old-fashioned queue, but a virtual queue online. And that stops the websites from crashing. If I get online and I see that I'm number 2,358, say, in the queue, should I get discouraged or does queue actually make the process a little faster? It's a very good question because um, the queue will move at the speed of which the site can handle. The nice thing about Qt is you can navigate away from the queue and come back at a later stage and not lose your place in the queue because it remembers your computer. I don't know about you, but it definitely makes me feel better knowing how many people are ahead of me in the queue to get concert tickets. But what about something like tax? It's the season for e-filing and everyone wants to get their tax done ASAP. Well, at least most people do. Or are they all waiting until the last minute? Almost everyone who has an internet connection uses uh, SARS website at least once or twice a year. And as a good example is the Danish receiver of revenue where the software originates from. In 2011, they used Qit, and at, at stages they had queues of up to 300,000 people in the queue. Yet, at the end of the year when they did a survey on client experience, they received a 92% increase in client experience. What would the main motivation be for companies to start using Qit? When a company has a very busy website, they, they look at worst case scenario and do they cater for worst case scenario that happens once a month or once every three weeks or once every six weeks, which is very expensive to cater for, or do they use a service like this and take those extra spikes into the equation using Qt and save them a lot of money in terms of capital equipment. The second option is the marketing opportunity with the queue. Uh, companies use the queue for marketing purposes. They can talk to their clients or the users on the queue. They can generate Twitter feeds and Facebook feeds. They can have competitions, they can have discounts. So there's a nice marketing opportunity that's also generated. Online queues sound way more convenient than camping outside a store all night. The joy of finally getting your hands on those tickets. Once you step out of the queue, well, that's when the real wait begins. After the break, Grant returns with a gravity-defying game, and we review this week's top five pick. Stay tuned. 